necessarily my favorite mascaras, but these are just the ones I'm going to show you today. I do have a large collection of mascaras, and these are just, I'd say, a third of them. Okay, let's get started. First, we have Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara. This is in the non-waterproof formula. Although it does tend to get a little bit clumpy. I'm going to show you the brush. As you can see, it's a bendable brush, which is supposed to help to get into those lashes. The Rocket Volume Express Mascara by Maybelline. This is one of my favorites. Because of the volume it gives you. This is in the non-waterproof formula. And I'm not sure about the exact color, but it is black. So, let's take a look at the brush. It has a hard plastic brush, as you can see. I love the packaging. I love the pink and the dark blend together. Okay. Next we have, let's do this one. This is my newest mascara. The bombshell volume by Lash Blast. It has two sides, a volumizing side, and I guess the other one's for lengthening and separating. Let's open side number one. Some more syn synthetic brush. It's more of a watery formula. I wouldn't say I would recommend this mascara. I don't really think it did very much for my lashes. And this is very bulky to use.
This has plastic bristles as well. It's great for volume and separation. It doesn't clump very much, which I like. I only wish it would give me a little bit more length, but it's a pretty good mascara. Milani Total Lash Effects or Total Lash Cover Mascara with this three zone brush. Now this brush is different than most brushes. It has plastic bristles as well as synthetic bristles. It's a very interesting mascara that caught my eye at the drugstore. So let's look at the brush. but it has two different kinds of bristles on it. I won't, I wouldn't say this did a whole lot for my lashes. I wouldn't repurchase this one. It separated well, but didn't give much volume. <laughs> and last, but certainly not least, is the Rimmel Eyelash Accelerator Mascara with the Grow Lash Complex. This is also a newer mascara that I've bought. It's great for length. I wouldn't say it gives the best volume. So I don't know if I'd repurchase this one. Let's look at the brush. of a bend to it. Synthetic bristles. And yeah, it's just lacking in the volume, but it's good for lengthening. It's a good layering mascara. And that's the last of my mascaras I'll be sharing today. So here's all of them. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be making more videos to come, so watch out.